we were dispatched to a vehicle that had been reportedly stolen. Uh, they were driving down the, the street. This, supposedly, the suspect was driving down the street and smashed into a, another car uh, that was parked off to the side of the road. And it's a turbocharged. That's why they ran out of control, because when you floor this in second gear, it pulls to the right because it's turbocharged. And so that's why they crashed it, because they don't know how to drive a turbocharged car. Uh, that's not really nice. that's not really the truth, Christopher, because I I work on vehicles. Well, uh, I drove did my particular car. And I mean, it's not gonna pull the right just because it's turbocharged. Well, when when you floor it into second gear, it it's got a pull to it, and they're trying to get away. So sometimes calls come out, and you find out later that people were misinformed or confused or or whatever the case may be, and that's exactly what happened in this case. We were taking the call seriously and looking for a suspect in the area without a whole lot of information. And as we started looking into it, it started evolving. I thought maybe at first that the guy had uh, been intoxicated and crashed his car and wanted to file a false report. I had a hard time telling if the guy actually knew that the car had rolled down the hill on its own or whether he did think that someone had stolen his car. There was a lot to it. The call just kept changing, you know, and it took a little bit longer than, than it should have. What I'm thinking, is there may have been a possibility that you left your car in neutral and maybe you did think it got stolen, right? <laughs> maybe you did think that it got stolen, you came back out and your vehicle rolled along this curb here and then it shot up into that mailbox. There's no tire marks here of anyone hitting brakes because there was no one in the car. And the evidence is here that the car rolled down this hill and it stopped there because there was a car there to stop. The call ended well. Um, I think he was finally convinced that, uh, that he had made a mistake. His friend was trying to convince him. You know, in the end, no one got hurt and that was the most important thing. There was not any suspect and, you know, a guy made a mistake.